Hi everyone! Today I'm going to teach you guys how to do curved text within Design Space. There are a lot of ways to do it. I personally really like doing it in Design Space. It gives me a lot of options. Um, so what I like to start with is a template to work with. And typically if you're going to curve text, you're going to go in a circle. So what I do is I find my circle. This time, let's say we're going to make a plate. And I know for a fact that the plate that I am making is 10 inches in diameter. So I want to just make this circle 10 inches, which you can either do by pulling it like I just did or come up here to size. It's right here at the top. And you're just going to put 10 inches. When you put 10 inches in either one of these for a circle, it'll make the whole thing 10 inches around. Now, my plate has a lip on it and I measured my lip. So I'm gonna put another circle in and I know that I have between the lip and the middle of the plate, it's about four inches. So this plate needs to be six inches. So we're gonna go ahead and just make the circle in the center six inches. I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger so you guys can kind of see. All right, there we go. So you just want to center your plate best you can. It doesn't have to be exact, but you can see this is your space that you can work with to make your curved text. And I see it's quite centered. Um, and I'm going to move this plate down a little bit just because it's getting cut off. Okay, so here's our plate template. Again, it doesn't have to be 100% perfect as long as it gives you an idea. So next thing you're going to want to do is insert your text. So whatever text you want to use in your plate. Oops, and I did not mean to click that. So your text box is of course going to open and we're just going to type good morning. See so you have your good morning. You can choose obviously whatever text you want from here. Um, I'm just going to pick something fun to play with. Um, it might be easy to see. Um, here, this Arial Black's big and easy to see. So, you pick your font, and what you need to do next, because you have to move each letter individually, is you're going to go up here to this top section, up in the upper right-hand corner, and you're going to go ahead and click Ungroup. It is the second box over in the Layers section. You're going to ungroup your letters, and what that does is it means you can move each of your letters individually. I'm so sorry, I bumped you. So, pretty simple, right? Next thing you wanna do is you can put it right in your plate. I personally like to start with the center of my project, so I always try to figure out what letter is gonna be the middle. So obviously we have four, eight, nine, 10, we have 11 letters. So the center letter is kinda gonna be in the middle of two, but that's okay. So it's going to be right here between the O and the, um, well, actually, I think the O, yeah. It's going to be kind of between the M and the O, maybe the O and the R. So we'll just start with the O. Once you put it on your project, you won't notice. So your center is probably not going to need to be curved at all. But when you move over to this one, you can see it looks kind of funky. In order to curve it, all you have to do is up here, this little blue circle, with the little arrow that spins, and I can make this bigger now so you guys can kind of see. This little blue circle right here, you just twist them. You click them and you twist. You click them and you twist. That's all you have to do. And you can resize your letters, so if you want it to take up way more space, you can go ahead and do that. Um, like I said, the middle letter doesn't usually need curved. I sometimes do curve it. Um, that's all you really have to do is just click your letters and curve them. And you can curve them however you want. You can do them this direction. It's very, very easy. And you can do this in just about any shape you want. You don't have to use a template. Um, some people go on the outside of a template because you can see where your letters are gonna match up a little bit easier. It just depends on how you uh, feel comfortable doing it. If you look here, you can kind of see where the bottom of my letters touch the bottom of my template when you curve them. 
Um, I will say with the text, you do need to make sure that you move them down a little bit because of this that pops up every time you click on them. But that's, it's really easy once you start playing with it. Um, you can move them as far as you want. You can switch them around. But once you've got them curved where you want, so let's just pretend we're going to go go mo. You just need to click select all of your letters. And actually, I need to get rid of my template first because I don't want my template to do anything. So we're going to go ahead and delete the plate, so to speak. And we're just going to click the letters we want. And you want to group them back together. And then you need to attach them. If you don't, it will move where your letters are spaced and how they're going to print out because we didn't do an attached font. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of all these ones just because we're not going to use them. That way I can show you what it's going to do when you click make it. So we have now grouped our letters. We have attached our letters. We are going to click make it and see it keeps our letters exactly as we had them. If you did not click attach, I now go back and show you. So I'll go ahead and detach my letters. If you do not click attach, watch what happens. It completely puts your letters back in the straight line. Purpose of the attach is so that it keeps it the way you have it set and it doesn't move it. So again, select your letters. You can either select them by drawing a box around them all or you can go over to this side and select them by hitting shift and selecting each letter in your line and you can detach and then reattach. It's pretty simple. The nice thing is too, once it's attached, if you decide you want it larger, you can do that and all the letters will move to the larger section. And I've lost mine. Oh, there they are. Sometimes it does that and I don't know why, but it does. Um, you can also curve them differently. So if you wanted them upside down or you wanted them sideways, you can do that once you've attached them. Um, if you guys have any questions, please make a comment below. Please check out my other videos. I've got lots of great tutorials. And if you guys have any other tutorial questions, let me know. And make sure you subscribe.